guys, you got a process cheese 18 with another FIFA 13 career mode. And today, this is the first match of the episode is against Shrewsby in the uh, third round replay in the FA Cup. Remember, if you watched uh, last episode, we simmed the, uh, the uh, game against them and we drew 1 1. So we have to do a replay. And this is the replay here. And this game was awful, to be brutally honest. I just. Itty bitty chances like this one here was probably one some of the closest chances I ever got to scoring. That kind of chance, not not very clear cut chances. The whole match it was like that to be perfectly honest. And another chance this time with Aiden White uh, goes close to scoring there, but I mean to be honest, he wasn't going to score from there. Angle was about five millimeters wise. And this is true for probably first attack of the match. There's some crisp passing here in this awful weather. I just couldn't get the ball off them. One of their players beats mine, hits the post, and it goes right into the place of Summerfield. I mean, they couldn't even have gone any closer to him. It was so close to him. Anyway, that's how the first half ended. 1-0 to Shrewsbury. Disappointing at the moment. I mean, 1-0 at Shrewsbury. No one's going to be happy with that unless you're in their league. So, um, and yeah, I'd give away a itty-bitty free kick there. So that was just frustration tackle there. And they lofted the ball over my defence. And it goes into the Shrewsbury first path, and he just slots it home. I mean, oh, I was kicking myself after this. I was so annoyed. And, oh, it was horrible. And I did score just before this, but I was, I'm so annoyed with myself I didn't show it, because this it was an awful game. And to quell any fears that Shrewsbury had won, uh, might have a comeback on their hands, they, they scored 3-1. So I wasn't going to come back from that. And that's how the match ended, 3-1 to Shrewsbury possibly the worst game I've ever had on career mode as you know it is because I'm going to call call the episode my worst game ever and anyway off that exciting subject uh, Swansea have accepted up the deal so, uh, for Nathan Dyer so now I can go on to contract stage I'm offering 30,000 a week 5% bonus for, if he scores uh, for 3 years and a crucial 13 tag because he definitely will be playing a lot and now Daniel Harihiho from Sporting they have accepted the offer, so I'm going to offer him 10,000, 5%, 3 years, an important first team player, because he obviously is, I want to bring some more young centre backs, and Juventus come back with a deal concerning Pogba, and they said they're not going to sell him, to be honest, they don't like the 9 million future fee, and they don't want to loan him out at this point in time, so I'm not, I've lost Paul Pogba, to be honest, anyway, QPR have come with a season low deal, which I'm going to accept for Nathan Baker, I'm, I'm, I wasn't planning on using him at all, Anyway, we're jumping to the next match against West Brom, a local derby. As you know, I think the uh, first game of the season we drew, or I might have won 1-0. I, I can't particularly remember. It was a close game anyway. And West Brom go close to scoring there. Um, good defence there. A bit of a strange clearance, though, by uh, Lehigh, I think. And from a corner, yet again, I've conceded. McCauley was marked, and then unmarked somehow. And he scores... a quite a nice header actually but I shouldn't be seeing like that and another lofted ball over again I'm so vulnerable to this and a great tackle there by Vlar couldn't have thought of a better tackle to see ever that was if he if he didn't make that you should West Brom surely would have scored and West Brom go again go close to scoring I think given yeah given just gets a touch to put it just wide and from the corner yet again a team has won the corner against me I should I should just not defend them because I always concede there we are we have possession on the out, outside of the box. Hooper takes a touch, has a shot, and he he is getting into some form now with me. Great finish there. He's scoring the goal quite regularly now, which is useful to have um, when Bent is out injured, actually. I think he comes back later on in this match, but, I mean, he's been out for a few matches. It's really... It's not been good. I, I really would have needed him in that Shrewsbury match, actually, to be honest. And Zobia this time cuts in onto his left foot and goes narrowly wide, I mean, it's so close, and that's how the first half, then only 1-1 one, one, on the piece, West Brom kick off the second half, and then it's a close match, uh, I wouldn't mind with a 1-1 one, one draw at this point in time, and uh, <coughs> West Brom, an another chance again, and Delph with an appalling challenge there on the West Brom player, and gives away a penalty, I, I was annoyed, but I could see why, it wasn't like a kind of game glitch, and Long steps up for the penalty, given given attempts to save it, but goes the wrong way, Long hits it down the middle, good, good penalty to be honest, because I never stay in the middle because it looks stupid if you don't, anyway this time Zobia with a lovely cross in, 
and he heads back to Agon Blahor who has the ball kicked off the line unlucky not to score there and this is Ben on now first match in absolutely ages he was a bit sluggish but a lovely bit of passing play there Bannon outside the box top corner that that was a lovely finish there there was oh lovely finish he scored a few goals for me this season Bannon and he's looking to be quite a good player actually and um, that's how the match ended two apiece not a bad result to be honest keeps us in a firm position I believe ninth these last few episodes we've been a solid ninth haven't really moved that much and Real Madrid have now come back with a deal deal for Rafael Rafael Varane which is um and so I've now got him on loan and now Adrian who I've been looking to bring in uh trying to bring in some <coughs> buy him for about I think about four million because he, he evolves into a great player because uh his stick Flamengo still haven't aren't accepting it and Corker or Corker I can't, can't pronounce his name properly he's proving such a hard player to sign and I, I'm you see later on, I'm just going to say now, I don't sign him because, seriously, Tottenham are just the hardest player, the hardest team to get players off. It's a shame because he was looking like to be a good player. Anyway, Dyer accepts contract and so we've now got Dyer. Dyer has joined Aston Villa, lovely sign there. And so, and Daniel Hejiho has joined him as well. But I do sign him, but I have to rejiggle my um, budget because obviously I haven't got enough for wages but I do sign him so don't worry I, I readjust it here to about 80-20 I think yeah I do <laughs> and Adrian it proves now I cannot sign him actually which is annoying because much short sightedness I couldn't sign him because I now don't have enough money which is a shame but he's not going to disappear we can always get him in the summer transfer window and Agam Blahor's position in jeopardy maybe I doubt so I think Agam Blahor you're not going to lose Agam Blahor he's Oh, what a player he is. Um, the only shame about Agon Blahor, he used to grow a bit on FIFA, but now he doesn't because obviously he's, I think he's 26 or 27 now, so he's not growing at all, <laughs> which is a shame. But um, again, I tried to rejiggle my budget, but I don't have enough to sign Adrian, which is a shame. Uh, anyway, that is the end of the episode. Uh, next episode will be a f uh, at least three matches, which we did look forward to. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, favourite and subscribe and until next time, peace.